Most cars sold in North America use an automatic transmission to do the shifting in their drivetrain. If you were to open one up, you might wish you hadn't, even if you were an engineer. I hope our engineers have paid attention in every class that they had. They're one of the most, if not the most, complicated uh, piece of machinery in an automobile. I mean, in and of themselves, they're complicated. They take into account so many facets of uh, physics that we deal with uh, stress and strain and fluids and thermodynamics. You name it, it's in here. At the head end of the drivetrain, torque from the engine's crankshaft is connected to a donut-shaped unit called a torque converter. It contains fan-like blades that spin. One set forces hydraulic fluid against the other. It gives you that oomph feeling when you're starting off from rest. It gets the car up and going and, and accelerating. Behind the torque converter are the transmission gears. To save space, little gears are mounted within big gears. What we do in an automatic transmission is we have the gear set, but we have to hold or spin certain components to obtain either different gear ratios or to get forward and back movement. Four speeds forward, one in reverse. A simple idea, but one that is difficult to engineer.